Mama Project is a child survival program. Our focus is on communities uh, affected by chronic malnutrition. One of the most important indicators of health of an individual or community is the presence of anemia. Anemia means a low level of red blood cells which carry oxygen to the body. Medical practitioners usually check a hemoglobin to assess the level of anemia. When a person is anemic, he or she may be pale, tired, short of breath, and lacking in vitality. There are many causes of anemia. It is a common problem, especially in malnourished women and children who don't get enough vitamins, including A and E, the B vitamins, and the minerals, iron, selenium, copper, and zinc. It is also caused by malaria, intestinal parasites, inflammation in the body, trauma, menstruation, childbirth, cancer, gastritis, ulcers. One of the biggest questions that mothers ask is, is my child anemic? We also want to know, is the community suffering from high levels of chronic anemia? Uh, so if we have one test uh, to choose to be able to assess the, the health of an individual and or of a community, it would probably be a hemoglobin. Uh, the incidence of, a, of anemia in a community can be viewed as a reflection of the total burden of malnutrition and disease. When we think about anemia, we think about levels of severity, mild, moderate, severe. Uh, with simple tools, we can obtain uh, useful information. Uh, it is necessary to do the uh, test accurately and follow the instructions. Since the test results depend on seeing color, women should be the one to do the test. Up to 10% of men may be colorblind. Uh, but less than 1% of women is born colorblind. Uh, the test must be timed and read at exactly the right uh, time. And it is important to read the test in natural daylight. Um, artificial light, especially fluorescent light, can distort colors. Uh, so let's begin. This is the hemoglobin color scale. And at the bottom is the interpretation, how, how to do it, the instructions, and also the interpretation. Uh, so this paragraph is at the bottom of this scale. And it's very important for people who are doing the test to constantly remind themselves of the steps, but also when you read your result, to refer to the bottom of the scale to see if the patient has anemia, and if so, is it mild, moderate, or severe. Number one, clean the fingertip or heel with alcohol. Number two, obtain a drop of blood by skin puncture. Number three, apply to absorbent paper, then blot firmly. Number four, wait 30 seconds, and you may count uh, 30 seconds or use a wristwatch. Um, then compare to the chart. Number five, you're, you're reminded to read it in natural light, but out of direct sun. Uh, number six, results may, may be less than between or greater than the block that is written on the scale. The blocks go 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and it may be in between there. Less than 4, a 5, a 7, a 9, a 13, greater than 14. Um, you want to estimate, number 7, estimate your hemoglobin to 1 gram. This is an estimate. You're not able to read... 11.2 uh, grams. You're, this is a, a much more general estimate. Now the normal ranges. What, what constitutes normal? Newborn and adult. It is normal for a male to be greater than 14 and for a female to be greater than 12. After six months, 8 to 10 usually indicates nutritional anemia or anemia with moderate risk. And less than 8 indicates severe anemia and translates to high risk. Mild risk is indicated by a number greater than 10, but less than normal for the age of the individual. Okay, first of all, think safety. Think about universal precautions. And everyone who is touching other people's blood or body fluid should always wear gloves. Okay, now we're going to... Do the test, 
Uh, first, you take a little bit of alcohol. You can do it alcohol swab, alcohol on a cotton ball, just a little bit of alcohol to cleanse the skin. And then you want it to dry. Next is you are going to puncture the skin. Now we use these little lancets which are painless and it's very important, especially when you're doing children, for this not to be traumatic. So you do a quick uh, stick and then with some gentle pressure you get a drop of blood. Next you're going to take a little blotter paper which we uh, recommend that you not buy as medical blotter paper but you go to an art uh, store and get your your supplies from uh, a, an art store where you can cut these into little pieces and use them uh, as we are here. Okay, you saturate the edge. Take your time because if you don't do it like this and saturate it, you're going to get an inaccurate result. Let me just show you quickly what an inaccurate result might look like. Do you see what, what I just did? I just quick swiped here with that one and got a pink, a pale pink um, coloration at the end of the blotter paper as opposed to this one that I did appropriately and really saturated. There's quite a bit of paper saturated. We blot and we start counting. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Thirty seconds exactly. Okay, now we're ready to read it. The test has to be read in natural light. Uh, artificial light distorts the colors. So here we're standing by the window uh, in the shade, shaded natural light, and you can see that she's uh, not a four, she's not a six, she's not an eight or a ten. Uh, she's closer to, she's not, she's more than a twelve. She's closer to a fourteen or above. So you can tell from this test very quickly that she's not severely, mildly, or even moderately uh, anemic, um, and she is normal. That's all you need to know. Puncture the skin, put your sharps in a sharps container. If you don't have this kind, make a sturdy sharps container. And all of the tissue, uh, all of the papers and materials that you've used that are contaminated with blood need to be disposed of properly. Please contact us at info at mamaproject.org if you are interested in using this test in your program.